So um, one of the techniques I was working on during COVID was, um, like it's over, uh, is, <laughs> as doing um, buttercream painting. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you want to pass it around. So um, what that is, is basically um, just making a, a different way. I saw a lady on Instagram. Her name is Yuna. Yuna Cakes, it's right here. Oh, I cut it off, unhelpful. Yeah, Do you, wait. oh, have you seen her? Anybody, no? Okay, oh, like like we're all personal friends with her, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so I saw she has buttercream flowers like that and I really, really, really love the technique. So um, whenever I, now I'm gonna get into like the actual cake part of it. So for this cake, I want to do something like that. Um, sorry if it's all, it's on a random cake board <laughs> from my house. Um, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do exactly. Um, I just settled on the cake design like Saturday because I, <laughs> I was so indecisive because, oh, thank you. Because, um, you know, it's, it's, I haven't done a cake like this for like an order. I'm still working on the, on the technique, but I thought, oh, I want to share it with you guys because you're in school, you're learning, I'm still learning. So I think this is a good way to bridge. So for this cake, I have a couple of inspirations. I wanted to do something gray, kind of cementy, and in oh, when you guys at the end, when you get close up, you're gonna see little speckles inside of it, and. Um, Oh, sorry. Oh, should I lift it up? We're gonna put. It oh, okay. Oh, you're so. Oh, you're so good. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to pass it around so they can see, you can totally do this. Yeah. So um, on the cake, there's little dots and to because have you ever seen like a perfectly gray cement? I've never seen one. So what I did, I added a little bit of vanilla bean to this to give it kind of some depth, so it wouldn't just be gray and white. So um, another book that I used for reference was this one. I don't know, if, who here enjoys making sugar flowers or anything like that? No, it's okay, yeah, no. Um, this is a good, for me, This I found this book online and it's so good. If you guys wanna pass it around. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I had dog marked a couple of the pages. Yeah, go ahead. And um, those were some of the techniques that I really wanted to incorporate in the making of this cake. So I guess I'll just get straight into, oh my goodness, I don't want to use up all the, the, the time. Okay, <laughs> so I'm just going to get straight into um, covering the cake. Oh, even before that. So once, when you guys are looking at um, the, the inspiration, I have for all of my cakes, sorry, I had to get a new one because my other one was just super gross and unpresentable. Like <laughs> nobody, nobody needs to see that. So every cake that I do, I use a color wheel to figure out the color palette that I want to use because some cakes you could, You, it shows a, a understanding of color. Uh, there's some, like if you were just to do red, yellow, and blue as your color palette, when you see something like that, what do you think of? Like pri they're primary colors, there's no depth to them. So that's why I enjoy mixing colors and that's why I brought all these, um, my back, my Ziploc of that's colors, cool. yes. Those, <laughs> those all four of these colors went into this one buttercream. Like oh, it's wow. unnecessary. And <laughs> this is the color palette that I actually made with all two, four, six, eight colors went into excluding the white eight colors went into making this. It's, yeah, yeah I, I know, I'm, I'm a problem and I understand it. I've, <laughs> I've come to terms with it. So color is very important whenever you're, um, whenever you're gonna be working on a cake. So right now, I'm going to show you the first step in making um, uh, the, the buttercream flowers. <laughs> So I'm gonna move this to the side a bit. I don't want it. So um, I'm using uh, Swiss meringue buttercream. Have you guys made Swiss buttercream? Yes. 
Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> you call me chef. I forgot. I always forget. I'm always disarmed when people are just like, yeah, chef. I'm like, uh. Okay. <laughs> Who? So, um, how do you go? What goes into Swiss meringue buttercream? Okay, yeah, you can use meringue power. Yeah, meringue power, you can use it. You can use egg whites. Um, uh, in, in school, they had us using, um, like, I'm there cracking eggshell, like, eggs until the sun comes up. And, oh, my goodness, do, doing it forever. At this point, I use egg whites from a carton because... I don't have the time. <laughs> but yeah, in uh, Swiss meringue buttercream, the Swiss meringue that I make, I do um, 18 ounces of egg whites with 28 ounces of sugar, and then um, like oh, just two pounds of butter. So d the temperature, everybody, I realize that people could th cook their, um, their egg whites to different temperatures for their Swiss. Mm -hmm. One of the chefs that I worked with, she does living it dangerously. <laughs> she did um, 120, 120. I'm like, that's fair. That's super low. I'm like, yeah. this is the eggs are going to be raw. We're trying to uh, pasteurize. Thank you. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Yes. So, yeah, I'm like, people are walking around sick. So, um, to for hers. You, well, for mine, I cook mine to 140 because eggs are pasteur, egg whites are pasteurized at 135, 130, well, 133, 135. I've seen, I've seen it different in a couple of places and I'm not willing to like look at all the pages to be like, what's the right one? So right now I am smoothing out uh, the buttercream for these petals. You're like, why is she doing that? It's all gonna make sense. So I am just smoothing it out right now to get rid of all the air bubbles that may have just kind of sat around. And when I'm scraping it, I, I, when I was practicing this over the weekend, there's so many times where I'm like, oh, the petal's almost done. And then I get to like this huge air bubble. I'm like, oh, okay, I, all right, this is what I wanted. I didn't want to finish. <laughs> so I just pretty much smooth it out. Mm, to about, I want to say it's like a millimeter, uh, a millimeter or two. I use a lot of, um, for my Swiss, well, for my buttercreams, I use, what is it? Amer um, English measurements? Oh, yeah. Right? Metric. No. Me metric. Yeah, I use metric for when I'm, when I'm doing the cakes, like actual cake batters, because it's mm -hmm. so much more exact. But for, um, yeah, for most of the, yeah. Imperial, yes. Oh, I would have, it would have bothered me all day. So right now I'm pretty, I, I enjoy, I'm happy with the consistency that it's at. So, no, I'm not. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get started because I, I'm kind of, it takes me a while to do things. Not like I'm just going slow and dragging my feet, but I'm very picky with things in the kitchen. So um, I know. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come on this side in a moment. But first, I want to, oh, yes, should I? OK. So, <laughs> so um, the way to do this technique is basically just constant scraping. I act, it took me, I usually do this on a cutting board. And everybody's asleep in my house when I do it because it is so annoying. But I had to do it on a silk hat for you guys because I want to mess up like the nice tables and no, that's not what I'm here for. So to start off, I basically get um, a little diamond, not diamond, like a little triangle on. <laughs> Can everybody see? Yeah, so that this is my starting point whenever I do this. So once I get here, oh, you know, actually this buttercream is still kind of too thick in height. One more, one more pass. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so, oh, mercy. So I, d I get um, the little triangle, let me start all over, because I want to make sure I do it right for you guys. So again, with the triangle, so you guys can have, it basically is, this is the base for the flour. Um, if you ever make uh, sugar flowers, 
you know that you need to um, have something for the flower to latch onto. You can't just like stick petals, loose petals into cake and be like, this should work out. It's not going to. You're setting yourself up for failure. So what I'm doing right now, I'm going to hold my palette knife at a 45 degree angle and I'm just gonna start scraping. And it's going to start making a little petal formation and I'm gonna show you guys right now. Can you guys see? So it has the ridges from on the outside of a petal. Outside? Outside? Mm -hmm. Right? Exterior. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, mm, mm, I'm not, I'm not a botanist. Like, oh, and I just said my major was biology, the worst <laughs> bio major ever. So, <laughs> so I basically just do it until I get the right kind of shape that I want for this petal. And I'm gonna get my little baby palette knife. Oh my goodness, I found this on Amazon. This is not like, oh, a special or <laughs> This is all from Amazon. Please don't, please don't be bothered by it. So I clean the back of it. And there's two ways you can put it on. You can have, again, have your palette knife like that and just scrape it on. I hope you guys can see this. I'm so sorry, can, you, can everybody see? Okay. <laughs> so there's that way you can do it. Or another way, oh, can you see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so another way is to actually use a second palette knife, a little baby palette knife to release it. And I use that technique on the flowers, wait, the flowers that are here at the front because you see how they're uh, separated a bit more from the cake, there's more dimension to it. Everybody see? That's uh, this second technique, that's what it's gonna be used for. So I'm gonna scrape again, start making another petal. And then you can also use, um, oh, that's nice, sorry. <laughs> it doesn't happen often. I'm still learning with this technique. That don't, that's not me like, oh, Michelle. No, I'm still, <laughs> yeah, I'm still, we're gonna learn together today. So with this one, you can grab it, and you see how it's just gently resting on the palette knife. And let me toothpick in here, Michelle. So I can get a toothpick, and I can scrape it off. Sometimes this is, oh man, I can't tell you how many times I tried lifting off um, a petal from off of a palette knife, and it was just ended in heartache every time. And you can just basically just place it like that. I don't know if you guys are able to see. Yeah, oh, oh wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so I'm gonna just put that toothpick right there. So, and let me show you the other technique that I'm going to be using. So for the external flowers, you see how they're, they're different from like the cute ones at the front. Like these are the, the husky gals at the back who are like, they're, they're the what's gonna be keeping this cake together. So thankfully I have, um, this, was, this was on accident for me to have a mound of buttercream at the back here, but it's good that I had it because basically um, this one, these back petals for this flower in particular, it's basically going to be keeping everything, it's a structure and it, it's because this flower, um, whenever I make them, I don't want them to be like scientifically exact flowers like this isn't a part of like the ruby ac family like no this is just a flower i want to have the gesture of a flower not like an actual flower so for this for these petals um basically oh this is what it looks like at the back i'm sorry everybody so again with like the little beak i don't know there should be there's i'll figure out a better word for it eventually so basically i'm just going to be pressing it down and making it like that. It's, I should be explaining. It's, how do, how do I explain it? Yeah, you just place the, the palette knife on the, the surface and then you're just gonna drag it and not get buttercream on your hands. Okay, so do you guys have any questions about it so far? Yeah, oh, oh wow, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna get started, I'm gonna clean my knives and then I'm gonna get started on the actual cake itself. I also brought fresh flowers um, from Southern Ribs, not a paid ad advert, like this is not a paid advertisement, please don't worry. Um, I stopped by there this morning to pick up some flowers because if you've seen on the sketch, I have some flowers on there. It's a, this is all a, 
will it will it not happen <laughs> yeah because this for this one i'm I'm, I'm still unsure what direction I'm going, but I know where I want to end up, if that makes sense, right? We'll see. We're all good. This is a group journey at this point. Okay, so I'm gonna come around to this side, and, oh no, you're, you're okay. Oh, this is super high. Um, should I put, so right now, I'm just going to do a pre-sketch of where I want everything. So I know I want to have, the top flower like this. Yeah, oh yes, Michelle, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm working, I end up talking to myself. My, my family comes in, they're just like, who are you talking to? I'm like, I'm having a staff meeting, please don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, oh, it was it's insane. Trying to filter through our thoughts. Yes, yeah. oh my, I, and I always think like, am I, and I, sometimes I genuinely think I'm, I'm saying it in my head. <laughs> It's not in my head. It's all out loud. Everybody can hear and everybody's just annoyed because I'm just like slamming everything around in the kitchen. Okay, so if anything... Let me do this method. Mm -hmm. How far do you go in the ice? Oh, not far at all. It's yeah, it's, it's gentle, like etching. Gentle, <laughs> gentle etching. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to go too deep because if I do go deep with a toothpick, then I risk bursting through like um, this final layer and then um, God forbid like the crumb coat and then uh, that's a whole other issue that I truly, truly don't want to do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like I'm, um, before I went to call, well no, even before I started like doing like actual research with um, about cakes and you know, doing all of this, I didn't know you had to have a crumb coat. I didn't know you had to have like all this structure underneath it. So whenever I'm covering cakes and I'm like dragging uh, the, what's it called? Like the, the knife, the, the scraper or anything, I'm like just ripping up um, everything. Ooh, oh, oh, <laughs> uh, you guys are so good, thank you. Um, I'm just there like ripping up um, my base structure and none of my cakes, no, I repeat, none of my cakes were smooth ever, ever. There's crumbs everywhere. And it's only when I started watching that, that's how I also, that's how I got my start. Um, just watching videos on YouTube, like, cause at the time I thought, oh, I don't need to go to culinary school. I can just watch YouTube. No, <laughs> I want to let you guys know that um, coming to school, having a degree, having a certificate or anything like that, it is, it is, it's so needed. You can, you can go the route of just like getting a job in a kitchen, but having this foundation, going somewhere and they already know that you have the, the basics down, it's gonna be so much easier for you guys to get jobs. And it's, 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 I, it's it, I think it's, for me, it's fundamental for you guys to have some sort of background um, because for, especially in my case, it was, I needed it because there was so much for, for pastry <laughs> that you have to learn. Like yes. in my head, because, oh, we went to the same school. I didn't even shuffle. The three of us went yeah. to the same oh school. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. times, but we still have connections yes, with those uh, chef instructors as well. Oh and my then goodness. you network. They can provide a networking um, to other people in the industry, help yeah. you uh, kind of find your own path within the industry as well. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even mention this. I basically like just stumbled into my job at the at the hotel. I had no idea who um, the chef I was working for. Oh, okay, the chef I was working for that he was like a whole thing. I thought it was just like some random guy at the school, and it was just like, yeah, it was it was amazing. So um, it's, the opportunities that are here at schools, they're. They don't come, they, it's, it's, if you weren't in school, it would be hard for you to come by. But since you're here, you're already making this first step. Oh man, like doors are gonna open for you guys. Just, just wait and see. So I'm going to make my first brush stroke um, to, oh, how are we on time? Okay, my. Uh, there, there are questions that are coming in. Oh. They're asking for, they're, they just joined and they're asking about the buttercream. What oh, okay, is yeah. that, that you're using? Oh yeah, absolutely. The type of buttercream that I'm using is a uh, Swiss meringue. Um, 
egg whites, sugar, and butter, and salt. A, a kiss of salt. I don't. Um, for my for my buttercreams, um, because I want I want it to be as white as possible. Um, because a lot of white, 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 wedding cake, white wedding cakes are always going to be popular. Like, let's be real. Um, as much as I love doing like, oh, I'm going to do like something different. Like if somebody wants a white wedding cake, I'm like, all right. So <laughs> like, it's not nothing, not to knock them or anything like that. It's just classic and a lot of people go for it. So, um, I don't add vanilla extract to my, um, white, to my base, uh, buttercream because I want to leave room down the line to like alter it or like add something else, you know. And plus it'll, it's gonna darken it a bit and with my luck, <sighs> too much. <laughs> so, uh, oh my goodness. One time I lost like an half a bottle of vanilla in a, in a vanilla buttercream. That was gonna set the kitchen on fire. I was so mad. Um, it's so expensive. It's so mm -hmm. expensive. I go. I go to on a straight up. I go to TJ Maxx, Marshalls. If you go to like those areas, they have a whole bunch of like really good vanilla. Mm -hmm. Like this is again not sponsored. Just go there and find like random vanillas. So oh yeah, I've had this on my palette knife for a while. Sorry guys. So I'm gonna be doing my first um, brush stroke right now. Uh, I always get nervous doing the first one. Oh my goodness nervous for everything so here it goes so ooh, yes okay oh I like that okay <laughs> so and at the beginning full transparency it was just practice for myself to like get my heart ready for this <laughs> so um no I'm gonna leave it so um I'm just gonna start building up this flower uh and again with this one it's not so important to make um I didn't come up with a good name for it. Like uh, the beak? No. Um, just the, the base structure for this one. Again, it has just a gentle amount. Should I put more? I'm gonna put more. Cause I really, I really want these back petals to be hefty enough to hold the flowers that are gonna be coming in front of them. Because you can make the most beautiful buttercream petals, but if they fall off, ugh just uh don't yeah I don't I I would I get annoyed I, I'm not saying I get annoyed a lot in the kitchen but if I'm if I'm decorating and things are like falling off I'm like okay I'm gonna take a break to this I need a break right now and you know what for this next palette knife oh let me know if you guys can't see because I know my hair is tall and it's like in the way <laughs> okay so again, I'm coming in with a bit more. And this one, I'm gonna do a, a little bit less because I want there, I don't want all the petals to be the same. If you've ever seen um, a flower in nature, and I also, I'm also cleaning off the sides because I want the petal to have, as, as you go along, it starts like kind of getting dunked up on the palette knife. And you, I want clean sides for my petals. Like I'm not looking for, oh, she moved. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not looking for like clumpy, yeah. You, you guys understand where my heart is. Is there any particular flower that you gravitate to more oh over another? Yes, uh, for, for sugar flowers, I love, absolutely love making peonies. Oh my gosh, they're so I, beautiful and feminine and yes. Oh my gosh. And you can make them closed or open. So Absolutely, yes. So uh, there is, so I, I, again, I tried making like my own flowers because I'm like, I don't want to buy a course online mm -hmm. or I don't want to, sorry, I'm cleaning up as I'm going, sorry. It's just ingrained to clean as I go. Um, I told myself, I'm like, oh, I can figure out how to make it. I don't, I don't need to see um, somebody do it. Um, thank God I did because it's, it was, it took a minute for me to like take the time and understand how to do it. But once I found, um, what's her name? Winifred Christie. She has um, amazing tutorials. It's this wonderful woman. She lives in Singapore and she has a lot of online um, tutorials that she has on her site 
they're all gold. I, but I, I saved for those because, <laughs> my God, it was it was not cheap. So, <laughs> but it's it's totally worth it. It's I see it as um, further education. Do I want to use this palette knife? <laughs> I see you're using different palette knives. I am. You're like a, a little artist. I am. I'm, I'm the indecisive artist whenever I'm, whenever I'm doing um, these cakes. Because I really, I don't want, because look. Uh, can everybody see? Okay. Just diving back. I don't want all of the petals to look like they're the same. Mm -hmm. I really don't. Because flower petals, if you ever pull a... a Take the time to pull flowers apart. If you want to make a certain flower, get that flower and pull it apart petal by petal. You're just like, you're wasting flowers. <laughs> I'm not, kind of yes, but also I want to see how the flowers inside actually work. Because if you want to make something, you need to understand how it is on the inside. And in order, oh, I need more, mercy. And in order to do that, you need to have... Um, you need to have an understanding of how its internal workings are. And the only, ooh, I like that. The only way to do that, I'll stop praising myself. The only way to do that is to, um, to know and understand what it's like on the inside of the flower. So this outer portion, is it sharp? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll keep my palette knives in order so you guys don't have to watch me struggle and figure out which one is which. So I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Okay, sorry. I'm enjoying this part. I've never worked with a camera before. Um, this angle of the, the flower, and I feel like I'm pretty much almost done with it. But I want to add a couple of satellite petals. And when I say satellite petals, I mean petals that are going to be on the outside, like further away, and it doesn't look like they're really attached to it. Like you know they're a part of the flower. You understand they're just like friends with the flower, but they're not like, really on the flower so <laughs> yeah I, I mean that's the only way yeah 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 like yeah, giving it more movement yeah and then you don't want it to be like oh, yes okay perfect so and with this one I'll probably add a 3d petal towards it at the end um, I it's I'll just see what it needs so we're, I'm going to jump to this portion of the again searching through all of my palette knives mercy <laughs> <laughs> and when you're working with buttercream flowers, do you like to use like other mediums? Like besides just buttercream, do you like to incorporate fondant as well? I like do, uses? yeah. I had gum paste flowers planned to make with this, and then I ran out of time. Uh, <laughs> I yeah, I was I got a bit busier this weekend than I had planned, and then I was just like, ooh, I had I had all these plans. It was gonna be super grand. I'm like, oh, everybody get ready. And I lost track of time. But usually, <laughs> but usually when um, I do cakes like this, I enjoy doing a mixed media. There's you can make flowers out of pretty much not everything. That's a very general thing to say. You can make flowers out of rice paper. You can make flowers out of wafer paper. You can make flowers out of fondant, royal icing, gum paste. If you find a gum paste recipe that you love, oh my gosh, like everybody move out of your way like <laughs> it's so it's so amazing it's I, I have a recipe that I I enjoy I got it from Winifred Christie uh, we're not friends we're not like oh I got it from my girl Winnie no I don't I don't know her like that but it was in the tutorial that I had taken for her I could use a bigger one it was in a tutorial that I the tutorial that I had taken with her and oh, it's so good. It's so soft. It's so flexible. You can, you, the stretch that's in it, it will, oh, it'll blow your mind. So with this one, oh yeah, sorry, I need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop. It's a problem. You guys are just like easy. So um, I'm just adding, I'm at this point, I'm still building on this flower. If anything, I might be making it too large, but that's okay. She's going to be good no matter what. So, um, yeah, so now that we pretty much have our base done, let me add a couple more of these. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You're just like, oh. Yeah. So for our students here at STC, we have a wide range of 
age groups that come in. Uh, when uh, you started out, you're probably in your early 20s. Oh my gosh, yeah, how old was I? <laughs> oh my gosh, how old? I know I was, I had finished, oh my gosh, I graduated from Pan Am 2012. How old am I? Okay, yeah. <laughs> and then sometimes I, for one year I had to do the math to figure out how old I was. Like it was an odd number year and I, I'm, not, I'm not a mathematician, everyone, please understand. <laughs> So I, when I did, I was just like, how old am I? I don't really remember. <laughs> so I finished, when did I go? I should have, I should have actually looked back to see when all of this happened because now they're, everybody's just like, she's making it up. She didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> she's lying. She never went to culinary school. I want to say I was probably like in my mid, mid early twenties, but probably towards mid I'm so I'm just lying to myself at this point uh, was there uh, any out. advice that you would have wanted uh, coming into the industry like actually going into the workforce oh my God. Uh, <laughs> 20s, starting out uh, uh, that you would have wanted somebody to give you that maybe you can give to our students I wish somebody told me that, um, oh my gosh, to get good work shoes, like, <laughs> That's yeah. yeah, yeah, not to be like, oh, ooh, I don't like this one. So if, when I was putting this one on, not a fan of it, so I immediately took it off and I'm going to put it up there because I don't know if there's gray on it, gray in it. So, oh, but back to the original question, when I wish somebody would have told me to get good work shoes, oh my, <sighs> When you find, I've had these shoes since, they're ratty. Oh, I don't want to like lift them up and put them in the shot. <laughs> I'm not that flexible. My bones are soft. I have to go to my chiropractor. Oh, thank you. Yes. These are Birkenstocks. They're, um, I'm sorry about my socks. Um, they, <laughs> I know. Honestly, we're all lucky that they're matching today. So um, there, I actually have the inserts that came with it. Well, I purchased new ones, and then I have the inserts that came, the inserts that came with it, I have those inside. And then I have, um, Basically, another Dr. Scholl's that I found at like HEB that I'm like, nah, this, this should help. I think this will help out my feet. Oh my gosh, I get good shoes. Get good shoes, take, take care of your hands. I'm not even kidding, like, yes. if, especially in pastry, take care of your hands. I, when I was in Austin, um, I was work, I was in the kitchen so often and, mercy, um, I was, I was worried about the health of my hands because actually I almost didn't go to culinary school because before that I had de Quervin syndrome basically where it's trigger finger and my hand would hurt like the clicking. I don't know. Have you guys ever heard of it? Trigger finger where um, you're the, the tendon is swollen and it gets stuck in the sheath when you're moving it. So whenever you move your thumb up or down, you'd hear popping. And you'd be like, oh, it's just gentle popping. No, it would hurt so much. So um, before, this was in 2015. Oh, that's when I went. I went in 2015. <laughs> 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 that's when I went to culinary school. So while, um, I remember we went to Guyana to see family. And while we were there, I had to wear like this big old ugly brace. And everybody's just like, oh, what's wrong with your hand? Like, don't worry about it. So, um, ooh, yes. Please stay. So um, basically, it was, um, it's, the hand health is very important, especially when you're going to be decorating cakes and just like having, like holding things, using, it's the pressure. It's using the control on pastry bags. Um, is every, I'm sorry, is everybody going to have a pastry program? I'm sorry if you're not, and you're just like, I'm just sorry. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, yeah. So have you, have you guys ever felt the pressure, like when you're um, using the pastry bag, and you're just like, oh, I can feel my hand throbbing and just like the pressure inside of it. So it's really important to take care of your hands and take care of your feet. Um, without it, you're not going to have a long career. I'm going to let you know that right now. You could be a total superstar and like you're doing stuff like left and right. Am I doing that the right direction? Yes. Um, uh, but if you're not taking care of yourself, don't expect, I'm sorry, is that me? Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Um, you're not going to have a long career. You're, 
take care of yourself. I, I keep saying it because I truly do mean it. And I, it's very important. So, ooh, I really like that pedal. I'll stop, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> um, another thing that I wish somebody would have told me, oh, this is all dirty, um, to have fun more. Um, I, when I was in culinary school, I was, <laughs> I was super serious. Like, I, I feel like I could be a fun person. I work a lot with the kids at my church um, and I've been the youth leader. Well, I've been, I, right now I'm assistant leader and I feel like I could be a fun person. But when I was in culinary school, like my friends and I, we were so focused. Like I under, I know, oh my gosh. And it was, so it's a French culinary school. So French terminology was very important. Like it's in all of the tests out of nowhere. Like you could be, oh, I don't like this one. Okay. You could be talking about, um, like the most random thing. And then they'll be like, what does this say? It, like, what's the, how do you say this in French? I'm like, so um, that I think that was what added to my stress while I was there. See, that, and that happened. I, I know, I know. I was trying to keep it together with that one. I don't know. It fell. Just let you, it, we lost the pedal, guys. <laughs> I know. I did my best to keep her going. I mean, light a candle. So, um, <laughs> So what I, um, I, I just have fun. You're, you're, oops, and that, see, that's why I forgot to make my triangle. Um, have fun while you're here. This is a time where I'm not saying like go around and like make mistakes and like waste product because it's just rude. Um, <laughs> but like now's the time for you guys to experiment, work on your recipes, like figure out, um, do you, do you guys uh, like to make recipes of your own? Have you, is that a part of it? Yeah. Like There's recipe development? Practice at home. Ooh. But a lot of them usually end up going their own route. Mm -hmm. I've had a bunch of girls, oh, I made no. it this this weekend. Okay. But, I mean, that's something that comes from all of us. Yeah. Uh, some of you I've had, some of you I've had for multiple semesters, and you all have messaged me, you do amazing work and it's not just because of your instructors but it's the passion mm -hmm. absolutely yes uh, sorry oh. i'm usually talking very loud here <laughs> picked up. there you go they were yeah, no, <laughs> no no absolutely it's it really is like you can you can go super hard and be like, oh, I need to get this done, I need to get that done. And you feel like you can give yourself milestones that you feel like you need to, I'm gonna get all that out of the way, stress myself out. <laughs> um, you can have milestones that you feel like you need to get to. But honestly, everybody's path is different, especially, especially in the culinary world. Oh, finally, merciful Jesus. So, <laughs> so we all have different things that we want to do and that we feel like we need to do. But you know, relax, you're good. When I, when um, a part of the, the, what's it called, the course? Is that the right way to say it? A part of, yeah, a part of the course slash curriculum um, in the, the awesome program, it was basically to um, find and for the externship, oh, could you, would you mind passing me um, the tray? Yes, please. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm not used to having this. This is insane. <laughs> um, a part of the curriculum. Oh, this is black buttercream, right? This is, yeah, this is black buttercream. I'm going to be using it for the center. <laughs> thank you. I know. I, I threw off the balance by bringing it so far, close to the front. Um, so this is, I just made, I had extra green left. I just added black buttercream to it. Um, I have black icing, a way to not having to add so much icing to something. Um, get a little bit of buttercream in a bowl, a uh, microwave safe bowl, um, and then add the dye into that and microwave it. Like microwave it until it's, I don't want to say juice, that sounds <laughs> weird. Um, until liquid, the most obvious word. Uh, microwave it to the point where it's liquid and it concentrates it so much and you don't have to add as much dye to um, any cake that you're doing. Because you can taste dye. Have you ever tasted cake? With, and I'm like, oh, okay, I, don't, I didn't wanna try anything. I just wanted to eat cake dye today. Yeah, so right now what I'm doing, I'm gonna actually add a little bit of white towards the back of this. There we go. 
So I'm going to be adding the flower center <laughs> on this. I forgot to add it, so that's why we didn't have it there. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I got it on there. So um, I know some, when I see some people doing it, they just go like straight in um, with like little palette knives. I know my skill level and I know my patience level and I know it's not there. So I don't even attempt it. So, oh, and I got these boozy little scissors again from Amazon. It's like a little crane. <laughs> I know, that's, that's what got me. I had, I took a bird class in, when I was at Pan Am. Did I need to? No. <laughs> but it was, it was an upper level um, biology. Uh, oh, I got black right there. It was an upper level credit. So I'm like, I guess I'm gonna be taking a birding class. I genuinely didn't need it. I also took a fish class. <laughs> There's, yeah, that just shows. Fishing is a question. I, oh, I don't like fishing. Really? Um, I don't. Even <laughs> when, when, I, when we were in Guyana, that was the first time I went fishing. Didn't go well, straight up. Didn't go well. A sunfish bit through my hook, and I'm like, you know what? I don't need this. And I just, yeah, I'm not the best fisher. And then I tried again. Um, what the place and it's like by the island i don't know we went port there isabel? yo <laughs> yes port isabel <laughs> i went fishing at port <laughs> isabel didn't go well i was just like you know why do i keep doing this to myself you don't need this michelle <laughs> i am not i am not an outdoor person so right again i'm lifting up another um i'm lifting up another pedal and I'm gonna start putting these on the front. Thank you, oh my goodness, thank you. So, no, we lost her. So I'm gonna, <laughs> we lost her, sorry guys. Maybe I can make these. Oh, oh, so even, so this is, this would be a good place to save. So if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be adding, can you guys see? <laughs> if you're gonna be adding um, leaves at the bottom, before you start adding your petals on the top, put your leaves on the bottom because you're asking for problems later down the line because at this point you're just gonna be layering it. So imagine you're making a wedding cake and you make your top layers first and then you're just like, let me come back at the back and do the bottom layers. It does, yeah, exactly. So that's how, that's my rationale thinking and that's how I've seen everybody else do it. So now I'm gonna go, yes, I'm gonna go and make my top my the I'm gonna fight this thing if it falls um, uh, I'm doing my outer petals so I think I'm gonna keep it on the palette knife thank you for holding it okay sorry guys I promise I'm gonna move please let me know if I'm literally blocking every so I'm using the toothpick to basically just guide everything on and then I'm using this palette knife to basically just MacGyver it onto, do you guys understand that reference? MacGyver? Do you just like smear like the base? <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, oh, God, I'm so old. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, what? No, I was asking, do you just, once you place it, do you smear the base to kind of adhere it to? The yeah, cake? for these, for the, the ones that are here, I do kind of gently nudge it on because again, if it falls, I, just pray for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna, oh, and I, I didn't even show you, I didn't even explain to what I did with the petals. So the scraping is different. Um, if I, so if I'm making a petal for the left-hand side, I scrape towards the left so that the petals could curve this way. If I'm scraping, if the petal needs to be on the right-hand side, I scrape towards the right so the curve could come this way. If it, yes, because if not, then it's just, Gonna, oh, I didn't do my see, didn't do my beak again. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do the right hand, the right cur curve pedal. Yeah, when I was growing up, I was was in this case, um, I was was ambidextrous. So for certain things, even now, um, I was gonna say growing up, I'm a full blown adult. Um, it's like when I grow up, this is what I want. Exactly. <laughs> They're like, mm, you're dry, you're in a car, madam. You're a full blown adult. So um, sometimes things are easier for me. Like when I would be in, oh sorry, <laughs> you're just like, oh no. <laughs> when I would be in. Um, 
uh, when I'd be in culinary school, sometimes um, I would start piping with my left hand uh, because if my right hand is, gets tired, that's what I'd start doing it with because I'm like, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not saying like, oh, bless, highly favored, but like, yeah, <laughs> I'm able to do so certain things with my left hand if like my right hand gets tired. That's an amazing skill to have. I, oh, <laughs> especially during competitions because, oh, God, yeah, it's amount of pressure going in on one side and then you freak out. <laughs> yes. I'm like, oh man. Yeah. So right now I'm going to actually start doing like the bottom flowers. And this is just, I like doing um, basically an adaption of the ruffled ones, uh, but just to bring it towards the bottom so it looks like there's a bit more movement. And then we're actually almost done with this one. I need to get to the the actual cake decorating part. <laughs> well, <laughs> the fresh flower portion of the cake. So, oh, and whenever I use, oh, oh, do we have it? Okay. <laughs> whenever, no, I don't like that. I'm, if, if you see me just wiping off flower petals, it's because I don't want to put something on the cake that I'm not happy with. Like, yeah, I can be like, oh, let me just rush through. Like, this cake isn't for a grade, or like, this cake isn't going anywhere. But even though, um, it's just a demo cake. I do want to make sure I put something out there that I could be proud of. And that's how I am with like a good portion. No, we're losing her. A good portion of um, the things that I do. Oh, I actually kind of like it like that. I know. Oh, guys. Okay. Yeah, so sometimes, what, sorry. I, what, another thing that I do is that I take a step back and actually look at what I've done and see if I need to add anything anywhere else. I feel like I need a little something right there to cover up my toothpick marks. But other than that, I think we're pretty good with this cake. Well, with this cake, I'm acting like it's done. <laughs> with this flower. So I'm gonna go and go in one more time. I think I'm gonna do like a little baby one. And you know what? So the, the petals, when they're on the inside, like you have, I should, I should be using a toothpick. I'm just being stubborn at this point. Uh, okay. Okay. So I get it. And then I'm just gonna, thank you so much for holding the turntable. You guys are great. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go in and smooth it a bit. So it kind of looks like there's, it, it does, you don't want it to look overworked and you're just, have you, have you been doing something you keep adding to it and adding to it and you're just like, what, one more thing. You, you need 10 less things. You don't need, don't, you, things can look overworked. Sometimes it's okay to say no when you're making um, uh a design and you're just like maybe it's done and like right now I had intended on putting a stem right there but now I don't even know if I want to um, so what I'm going to do right now I'm gonna jump to adding the actual fresh flowers that I have here um, ooh, thank you oh, helpful guys uh, so I brought these this morning uh, I went to Southern Roots Again, how to paid sponsorship. Like I just build it for my flowers. That, it's off of Maine. Mm -hmm. And well actually if you go down the right road, before Pecan. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just like, what? I'm not great with directions. Even when I lived in Austin, I was in Austin for long enough that I did not need my GPS. <laughs> but I use it for everything. And I still have like <laughs> I still have like the valley mentality where friends are just like, oh, it's like 40 minutes away. And they're just like, it's not that bad of a drive. I'm like, I'll, be, I'll stay home. Like, I don't, I'm not up for, like, a long drive like that. I'll see you when I see you. Um, but, yeah, no, every, the amount of traffic, mercy. It's a great city, but if my... my one road I always remember is Burnett. I mean, it's, it's, that's what I remember, too, because it's, like, right there, and everything's right there. So, it, it was... Bernard is on nor in the north part of Austin. I'm seeing this like, oh, everybody knows. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's on me. I'm <laughs> assuming. So what I, I, again, Amazon. They're from Amazon. Let me. 
Amazon. <laughs> so um, I got these uh, flower shears from Amazon, sorry. And um, what I do with all of my flowers, I make sure that I wrap them because I don't know if you've ever gotten a cake piece. No, you'll know when you get the cake piece that has a fl that had the flower in it because it's going to taste. Really good. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> oh, God. Herbaceous. Oh gosh, and it's just like, this is a chocolate cake. Why does it taste like this? And there's gonna be so many questions and there aren't any answers, but you know what happens. So <laughs> I wrap all of my flower stems because I don't want, oh, this is floral tape. It's food safe. You could get it at Hobby Lobby. Hi. <laughs> you can get it at Hobby Lobby um, or any craft store. Again, not sponsored. I need to stop saying like store names. They're just like, is she sponsored by them? I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm, oh my goodness. I just, I just go to places that are really convenient for me. Oh, or Michael's. They always have sales there. Again, not sponsored. So, <laughs> so I can't, I can't stop myself. So, um, <laughs> you know. I know it's it's a problem. So um, I I can't. Sometimes I can't. I'm very picky with my flowers. But then again, I feel like you guys understand that I'm picky with most things because again, just constantly picky. Oh, somebody wants a flower. Um, so I what I want to do is I cut enough that I want to make sure that when I put the flower in the cake. It has enough lift. So what I'm going to do first, I'm gonna put my big flowers in because I, I will be able to work around them. Um, and then I'll just have all my little baby flowers coming in around it. Okay, right, do I wanna use this one? I wrapped this one. Sorry, you guys are just watching me struggle with myself. Okay, so another thing, um, I always wrap an extra one. Usually I have a boba straw. The boba straws, you, everybody knows what a boba straw is, right? The really thick straw. Um, I usually, I straight up forgot to put, put it in my um, satchel this morning. Um, I always travel with a boba straw whenever I'm doing weddings and I'm putting fresh flowers in because I just stick it in for, like to where I'm gonna be putting the flower. And then, um, so I, it's not gonna be like disturbing a lot of stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna do one here, and then I'm gonna do another one right here. So this one, yeah, so I, sorry. <laughs> okay, so if you guys, um, if you guys notice when I put it in, um, uh, when I was removing it, I twisted it as I was bringing it out because if you just uh, yank it out, chances of you yanking out like big pieces of cake, oh my gosh. So imagine you work super hard to get this beautiful smooth top and then now you're just ripping out everything. Like nobody needs that. So I think I'm going to settle on, ooh, I know it's gonna be too long. I can already see it. And uh, also be mindful of like the curve of the flower because <laughs> it will come out of the side of your cake. And it's, you're, oh God, you're, you're looking for a bad time if that happens. So when I put it in, I already, ooh, ooh, is that too far forward? Okay, yes. So it actually might be too far forward. So um, usually it's okay to make mistakes. <laughs> That's this, most of what happens. It's a trial and error. So if you see this part right there, don't worry about it. I'll cover it with flowers later. I'm not gonna bring it to the client, but like, here you go. And they're just like, there's a hole on the top. I'm like, mm, I don't see one. You know, there. <laughs> where? I don't see it. I don't know what you're talking about. You're making it up. No, I'll, I'm, I will cover it up. Please don't worry. Oh, but I really do like the, the, top of the I do. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna f I'm gonna figure it out. Okay. Oh, maybe I can use this flower to cover up the the massive hole that I just made in my cake. <laughs> so um, again, I'm just cutting it at an angle. Uh, it's easier. Oh, ooh, biology <laughs> lesson. So it's better to cut flowers at an angle like this as opposed to blunt because they stay alive longer. Uh, because it's not as traumatic for the actual stem of the flower and it actually it keeps 
it does it takes a while for it to register oh they just cut me from where i was supposed to be <laughs> so yeah it takes a while for it to re i mean it sound like a person but you <laughs> understand yeah, yeah i mean yeah oh and i got black buttercream on that too it's fine you're fine <laughs> yeah so that's why i cut everything at an angle and that's why you see um forest cutting things at an angle because one it's easier to put them inside of um like sh yeah what is it? Floral block? Yeah, oh man. Oh, they're amazing. Yeah. I wish I wish there was something, some food say floral block. That would be awesome. We're living the same life, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's times where I'm just like, I need like something else. But I no. No. Okay, I'm dropping. Okay. <laughs> I know, I'm not, it's too late. I'm not going back. <laughs> <laughs> so um Oh, I like her. Sometimes you can art. I there's cakes where I'm making them and I'm already like unhappy. But this one, I'm looking at her and I'm really enjoying her. Oh, yeah. I think I'm so happy with this one because this is like practice finally coming together. You know when you've worked on something for so long. Of when you guys are, who was, have you guys taken your wedding? Have you done the cake class with the wedding cake class? Well, when you get there, or even when you're doing any kind of dessert, the work that you're putting into something, like you see it step by step. And then you're just like, oh, there's so much going into this. And then when you finally take a step back and actually look at it, uh, it's if you feel great, you just feel so happy. And at the, the, for me, um, when I'm at weddings, ugh, I don't think it needs the pink. When I'm at weddings, oh, maybe it does. <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm working weddings, I'm, um, the reason why I didn't wrap this one is because I'm just gonna be leaving it on top and I don't plan on like shoving it in there to get cake juice on all of it. Yeah, uh, whenever I do weddings, I travel with the cake um, full, uh, fully covered. I don't assemble on site because I had a chef, she told us a story about when she did assemble on site. Um, she was walking one of the cake tiers. Oh my gosh, I think it was a 12 inch. It was four, six, eight, and 10 like diameter for each of them. She's walking and then she gets to the top of the hill. It was, this was um, in hill country, like Austin's like, <sighs> my ears were popping the whole time. Like I don't, I never was able to like acclimate myself. Oh my gosh, it was a total mess. Um, she told, she was going up a hill and then she ends up falling face first on top of the, she fell on like the bottom tier of the cake. Oh my gosh. So oh my yeah, gosh. <laughs> the laughter, the quiet <laughs> laughter. Yes. It was, it, I still think about that. So to this day, if I find out where, um, oh, it's super cute. If I find out where a wedding is, I will, I think I'm going to cover this one. I, I will look up where it is. I will do my research. I'll even do like a creepy drive by of the venue, like <laughs> to get a lay of the land because I, as on delivery day, that is the last day you want surprises. Like I, you don't want surprises on that day. And usually when I'm doing, when I'm decorating cakes, I do a full, like I want every angle of the cake especially with the flowers, to have something. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, let me put this point pink one. Like, yeah, it may not be, like, the best angle, but at least there's um, something there. Uh, and usually with, uh, if this was a uh, cake for a client, there'd be a buttercream flower on this portion, too, because, oh, one cake disaster I had. I was at... Um, the the Brian house. Ooh, could I come this way? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yelling at you. Um, I had a cake at the Brian house, and the floor is uneven. Uh, do you, at the Brian house is a historical house on. Oh, I like that. Is a historical house in Mission, and do I need this? And they. No. Uh, <laughs> oh. Um, and the, the floor there is kind of uneven. When I say kind of uneven, it is so uneven. You're, do I need it though? I think it's too much. See, and this is why it takes me forever when I'm at news. <laughs> Cause I'm just standing there and wandering around this poor cake, wondering if I need more. But yeah, well, while I'm deciding, I'll tell you about my time at the Bryan house. Um, I was going on one of the walkways and I was, 
what does my heart tell me? And um, I was, I had, I have like this little cart that again, from Amazon, it's like a little collapsible cart. And while I was walking, I didn't realize that the road was that bumpy and the cake, the cake was in a box. The box tipped over and it, it didn't fall all the way off the cart, but it knocked to the side and I felt the pressure of the cake on the side. I felt like I saw my whole life flash before my eyes. Oh my gosh, the worst feeling ever. Um, so when I got there, oh, I think this is what it needs. Yeah, it needs green. So um, when I got inside to set up, the cake was like smushed on its side. Ooh, yes. It was smushed on its side and <laughs> It was the one time I, I told myself, I'm like, no, Michelle, you don't need to travel with palette knives or anything to fix it. No. <laughs> I thank you. Thank you for the girls that imagined that. My, I felt, oh my gosh, oh, it's the worst feeling ever. So then I go to my car, um, I go, now I'm inside the kitchen for the venue and I'm just like kind of like low key searching through the drawers, trying to find anything. And then um, I find a certain, a butter knife. And I'm just using that for the back and I'm like smooth. I'm like, everything's okay. I'm like drenched in sweat, <laughs> drenched in sweat. So, oh God, yeah. So that's why now, I, even when it's a cake, even, <laughs> it's a fondant cake. I'm delivering a fondant cake and there I am like packing like palette knives. I'm like, I don't need this. What are you doing, Michelle? Just wasting your time. <laughs> so um, I think, no, I don't like this one there. Yeah, so, so whenever I'm decorating cakes, I, takes me a while. That's why I've, I've never had to decorate and have to subject people to my indecisiveness in person <laughs> while I'm doing a cake. So if it, so if you guys see the difference between like the two whites, so this is white for um, buttercream. This is white for a Swiss ring buttercream. And then like compared to like an actual white pie, you're just like, Mm, no, it's not. So, <laughs> so that's why when I, whenever I am talking with my couples, it's very, it's very important to um, tell them that it's you're using butter. Butter is yellow. I've yet to see a white butter. Like that's you know I have I haven't seen that. So we just need to be. I'm always honest with them. Whenever they're just like, oh, ooh, that looks cute, with like a little bit in there. Um, whenever they. Um, ask for like an all white cake. I always tell them like the only way you're gonna get a pure white cake is if you get it with fondant. If not, you're um, because I use um, the I use different European buttercreams. So um, I tell them like, look, you're not gonna get a white cake. You're gonna get an ivory, gentle, gentle yellow. I don't like saying yellow with them because then they're just like yellow's out of my palate. I'm like, I'm sorry. I that's on me. I'm sorry. It, I, so I usually just stick to saying ivory. So I think I'm actually going to put the stem here because I don't, I want to make, I want to include the green from up here, down here, and I don't want the yellow of the stem to be as dramatic. So I made these little um, piping bags. What's the right word for it? Oh, it's like, could, wait, the, yeah, 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 thank you. Yeah, for one, we, uh, Chef Jenny did a demo. Have you, oh, in front of me. Bah, bah, irresponsible. Um, <laughs> so um, one of the chefs, the, my mentor chef when I was at culinary school, she would do a lot of demos herself for when like high school kids would come. So she had me do 300 of these little cones <laughs> in one sitting. I, it was, it was, it was a long process, but I'm happy I did it because when I got to the hotel, that was pretty, I did, I, we, a lot of the banquets we did, they were like weird interactive ones where people were just, um, it was, it was like, uh, what's the, when uh, companies do activities to go together? Like oh, uh, team building, yeah. building, yes. So they'd have like team building exercises and, and they'd have them, ooh, okay. And they'd have them um, do like cookies together or like piping stuff together. And I was like, I understand. I, I find it to be fun to do stuff like that. But 
if I'm at a company, I would just be, that would make me mad because I'm like, this is a stressful activity to do. <laughs> Nothing I'm doing is coming out right. Like, these are like corporate people. Like, they're not, <laughs> I was helping uh, a gentleman. I want to say he's like straight up like in his 80s. Like, I, this is not age shaming. Like, he was just like <laughs> upset. He's just like, I'm too old for this. I'm like, sir, I don't know what to tell you. I'm like, you have to talk with management. I'm just here to help you guys out. I'm like, please let me know if you need any help later. And he's just like, oh, can you show me to the door? I'm like, I don't need this. I'm like, oh, I'm not, I, I, don't, I don't need this in my life. So yeah, um, it's, there's just a lot of different things that you could do with this. Right now I'm making, well, I'm destroying this petal. Um, I'm gonna make a couple petals to put down here at the bottom. Do I need it? I don't know. That's why, again, that's why it takes me a while to, <laughs> to cover things. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to put a little bit of gold leaf. I've had this same gold leaf packet for, oh my gosh, let me get to the back. Um, I've had the same gold leaf packet for a while. This one's edible gold. There is some gold out there that um, you should not eat. Like, let's be real. Like, it's... Lit there is um, one, one of the chefs, she found, she was telling me, um, she's just like, oh, I found a super good deal on gold leaf. I'm like, that's not a thing. There's, <laughs> there are no good deals on gold leaf. So then when she got it, um, she pulled it out of the package and it was, on, it was, um, it looked like foil. Like it was, it, cause this gold leaf, um, don't work, don't work with it. If like the air con's on or any kind of wind is blowing, cause Oh, oh, is it? We had the fans on. So I oh, okay. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> yeah, it will blow away. Like it's, and I've spent time like chasing after flakes <laughs> of this because I'm like, this is expensive, and I'm not willing to just let it just join like the floor of my kitchen. No. Yeah. So what I like to do is I like to just get a piece. I <laughs> get a piece of it, and I kind of just like tear it up in my hands, so it kind of gets more texture. Because if not, then it's just going to be really flat, and I want it to just sit, uh, just to sit on the cake. I don't. Want, oh my gosh. Yeah. So I use a dry brush when I'm uh, putting this uh, on, when I'm putting this on because um, you could. I've seen chefs do it with the with a wet brush, but for me, I personally, it's easier for me with a dry brush. And a little bit goes a long way with it. You don't want to have like a, I did, you know what? I was going to act like I've never done a cake covered in gold leaf. I've done it. It's yeah. But I feel like it's, for me, it takes away from like the artistry of it. Like, because if not, you're just looking at big sheets of gold leaf and you know, you could always, you could always do a little bit more. I'm going to put some petals down here. I'm looking at how I'm putting the gold leaf on and I do want to, ah, and I do want to put some gold, ah, some, some gold down there. Sorry, guys, to just having to hear me yell. All right, so we're pretty much almost done with this. And I am going to be giving you guys slices of this cake. There's, this is not, yeah, there's cake to eat. <laughs> no, I, I totally understand. <laughs> yeah, no, I, you guys sat through my rambling story, so you need some sort of reward. <laughs> Do you have a most requested like filling or cake flavor? Yes. Oh my, to this day, my most popular um, cake, it's, it is the vanilla bean one. And gold leaf. And then, uh, with the hibiscus berry buttercream. So oh, thank you. The way it came to be was not super elegant. I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> um, I have, in Guyana, there is a drink called sorrel. And it's basically, I didn't know, it's hibiscus. Uh, but here it's called Jamaica. Jamaica. No idea. I've lived here my whole life. And then it was only until a little, like, a few years ago. I was just like, oh, what's this? Irresponsible on my part. So then I had a full conversation with, like, my grocer at HEB. 
total sweetheart. They put up with me like all the time because I'm always just like, what's this? And they're just like, leave me alone. I'm like, that's fair. <laughs> so <laughs> I asked him and then he's just like, oh yeah, this is the same thing. And so I started using it. If I drop this pedal, this place is going to go up in flames. <laughs> so then, <laughs> just played. So um, I asked him about it and he was just like, yeah, no, this is, this is the same thing. So for a while, uh, ruined this one. So for a while with my family, I was making it all the time. They were sick of it. I'm like, Sorrel, everybody. I'm like, please stop. This is more than enough. You have to stop making it. I didn't. Um, but it got to the point where I was just like, there's too much of this in this house, and I need to stop. So I decided I was freezing it. Like, I reduced it down, and I just made it into syrup. And I'm like, we'll come back to this later. Um, we didn't. Because again, everybody was sick of me making the same juice. <laughs> and then, oh, and I tried passing it off like during the Thanksgiving. I'm like, oh, <laughs> sorrel. And everybody's just like, no. I'm like, that's fair. <laughs> so I got to the point where I didn't want to throw it away. It was so much. So I reduced it down even more. And I had a wedding that week. I remember I had a wedding that week. And I. I had leftover, leftover, it was leftover. I had leftover blueberry uh, from a wedding, uh, blueberry compote that I, that's what I use with my buttercreams. I just make compotes and I just add it to it because I enjoy the texture and I like the flavor of it because adding, for me, I don't, I try not to do a lot of extracts because sometimes you can taste like the alcohol or like the sharpness of it. Oh my gosh, almond, it will ruin your mouth. Um, <laughs> sorry, right? It's true, yeah. Oh, God. I think, should I put, I'll put another leaf right there. Um, so I ended up just kind of messing around with it. And then um, I had some of my family, again, try it. I didn't tell them there was sorrel in it because we all know what would have happened. Um, so, and I'll do another leaf right there. So, um, we had, we, uh, they, they ended up liking it. There's hibiscus in it. And then my mom's just like, okay, this is actually pretty good. Like very <laughs> begrudgingly, like no support. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, the negativity at my home. <laughs> so um, I think I could put a little bit more gold leaf up there. I'm almost, you know what? I think I need to stop. I have a problem. Maybe it's <laughs> the pink. Should I take out the pink? No. Yes. Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Usually nobody has to sit through this, and I feel bad that you just have to be like, ugh. So, <laughs> yeah, so I made the sorrel, I made, yeah, it looks better with that one. So I made the sorrel drink, and, like, I added it to my menu, and I didn't think anything would come of it. I didn't think... Um, people would just be like, oh, like, it's a weird flavor because um, ever since I moved, ever since I moved back home, I scaled back my, my menu because um, sometimes people are comfortable with the menus that they're used to, and I'm fine with that. Like, it, it keeps my costs down. <laughs> and, um, like, frankly, like, I'm, I'm okay with it. Like, over the years, I started adding more of, like, the flavors that I'm really excited about. And I, I tried it. Hibiscus was the one that I actually, like, went for it. And that vanilla bean and hibiscus berry uh, buttercream have been my most popular cakes to date. Like, this one is my vanilla bean cake. I made this recipe since culinary school. So I started developing it then. Um, and I finally, I'm in a good place with this one. So that's why, um, it's, it's been on my menu for a while now. Okay. I need to stop. Yeah. I need to stop. It's done. It's done. I need to stop. Yeah. I, I, here you go. <laughs> okay. So, oh yeah. So the cake that, um, the, today's cake's flavor is, um, vanilla vanilla bean um, <laughs> because that's I'm sorry I would have done an almond cake because I use apricot as one of the fillings but I don't know if there are any like food oh, allergies I'm like I'm not willing to like roll the dice and you know get anybody sick here oh sorry yes Michelle, thank you so much oh, for having nice. us today. Our very first Mentor Monday. It's insane. We are back for our second episode. Be safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.